your own advice, you got a PC ass. Shit be like a bad girl, bad thing, fuck it, see every nigga's tap, girl, you let it rip. Off for real quick video right i just got off of work sorry i'm talking funny i know i've been doing my quarantine with me type of thing but this video is a little bit different because i just really want to give y'all the real on how i feel about being like essential so it's a few things that i want to touch on and i'm just gonna get right into them i feel like during this whole quarantine thing you really are seeing the truth about these companies some companies are like, you know, we understand what's going on. We're going to implement work from home options, you know, so that things can still be taken care of. You can still make money so that you can provide for your family, provide for yourself, take care of necessities. We care. There's also the opposite end of the spectrum where it's like you really just see that some of these companies, they don't give a fuck about you. They don't give a fuck about your family. They don't give a fuck about nothing. They own some selfish shit. And what makes me say this is I just feel like some people lack empathy. They lack basic human shit that they should have. Prime example, I got an email from a lender. I'll put, I'll say they're a lender. Basically, they say something to the effect of like, you know, we understand there's a pandemic, yada, yada, whatever, but just like you, we're keeping track of the stimulus. Remember that the service we provide to you allows you to live your everyday life. And pretty much, long story short, we know you getting a stimulus check, pay up type shit. It's just like, bro, some people got fucking kids, man. Like, some people got kids. Some people are not able to go to work. Some people have been laid off. Some people's positions have been completely eliminated. And it's like, they're trying to figure out how they're going to provide for their kids, their family. God forbid they be a goddamn caregiver. It's like, this shit is fucking, you really are seeing the greed behind certain people. Now, these companies that are like, we get it. We don't know your circumstance. But if you need options, we have them available for you. Some of these companies are like, you know, we are offering grace periods. Don't worry about this. You know, some places, some landlords are like, we'll pick up with rent payments when outside opens back up type of shit. If you're working, stack your money. We're like, you know, they're, they're understanding. Like they're putting themselves in the shoes of the person who they provide a service for. And it's just like, where is your morale? Like that is the most frustrating thing to me. I feel very sorry for people who have split custody of their children. Um, and I will say for a lot of people, their children provide a sense of solace, a sense of like relief. Like they love their kids. They love being around their kids. And right now it's hard because the primary custodial parent is probably like, oh my God, I have my kid 24 hours out of the day. I cannot, like they feel restricted. They feel like they're being sucked dry. They don't have those things that are their me times. Um, that break that they might get from their child being with the other parent parent you know like everybody is going through a lot right now so it's like when I make these videos of like stuff that I'm doing I'm not in such harsh conditions those are not my circumstances so although I am not in them I am still very sympathetic to the people who are another thing that's really blowing my mind is the lack of leadership that I feel I'm seeing I get that not everyone wants to be a leader but God damn it, we here now. You gotta step up, you in a position to make a difference and you're not. If you're in a position to make a difference and that's what you're doing, I applaud you, I commend you. The world needs more people like you. I am trying to be one of those people. I also really do give a fuck about homeless people and I just hope that during this time that if you see a homeless person, something like give them a kind word, a meal, a snack, I don't care, whatever it is. If you can, if you're in a position to do, do. That That's what I'm really getting at with that. Another thing I wanted to touch on was kind of like people who have to work during this time. I still have to go to work. People are still flying. You know, supplies have to be shipped. 
even though I don't package like, you know, cargo flights or anything of that nature, I still have to go to work. That's really what I'm, that's just what I'm getting at. However, in the same token, it's like when you are dealing with disease up front i am not a healthcare worker so the extent to which they see it and they deal with it is probably a lot more traumatizing because they're literally holding people's hands as they're taking their last breath people are suffering people can't breathe people can't talk people it's a lot of stuff that they can't do and they're literally right there those people don't have the, their friends they don't have their family members they all they have is hospital staff and it's like hospital staff are not therapists. So with that being said, your hospital workers and, and frontline medical people are really just, they're really just everything right now. So if you have something in you to ease their low, I don't care if it's a prayer. I don't care if it's a positive thought. I don't care what it is. They need it like, like badly more specific to my situation at the beginning of this it was really dangerous to have to be at work because everybody and their mama is coming through the airport the people who overseas they got to come back they come through the airport and then once they come from the international portion they got to go back home to whatever city they are so now they're coming over where i'm at so now everything upstairs is contaminated and then everything downstairs is like well fuck did you go upstairs and then it ain't no telling what people are doing outside of work so then they leave work where people are spreading it, putting it on surfaces. They're coming back to work. They're being around people. They're going places. They're doing things. They could be freaking spreading it. There have been people who have had it at work. Um, everybody's cautious of like people who are coughing. You know, all of this is really at the, the beginning of all of this, right? Now, as it has died down some, some people are like, skip this. I'm taking my vacation. Some people are like, I'm going on a leave of absence. Some people are like, you know, finding their ways out. When it comes to the leave of absence process, I'm just going to be very transparent. It opens and it closes. It opens and it closes. If you get in while it's open, you can apply. They go by seniority. They go by the length of time. Of course, people who are requesting to be gone longer, are they're going to take them first, which makes sense. But it's just a lot. It's a lot. You know, every day that I wake up and I don't feel no symptoms and I feel that my health is still intact, I don't have no complications of nothing, my prayer literally be, whew, thank you, Lord, for skipping over a nigga. Like, those are my exact words. I know everybody pray different, but listen, when I pray to God, you know, if I'm having a moment where I'm just like, I, I just got to be real. I got to get this prayer out real quick. Like, whoo. I, like, like that's what I say. I, thank you for skipping over me. I, I know I, I do things. I'm not perfect. I am not your most grateful child. But, goddamn, I, thank you. Whatever, whatever you saw fit to skip over me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for keeping me safe when I go to the grocery store. When I get in my car, don't nobody hit me. I don't gotta get out. I don't gotta deal with nobody. Like, like just. It's a lot of gratitude, gratitude, gratitude because it's so many people who who are out here, they following the rules, they doing all the safety precautions, you know, and they're still getting it. So it's like scary. And then these people have kids, they have like families, you know, and it's it, it it's a lot. So every day I wake up, I literally be like, Thank you for skipping over me every single day. I wake up, I feel good, you know, I drink my ginger, I eat my oranges, you know, I'm getting my vitamin C, I wash my hands, I don't, I already don't like people, so I don't be around people like that for real, but if I gotta be or socialize or fraternize or whatever, I, I just, I just hope that, look at this, even homeless people have compassion for each other, I want y'all to see this. My man's was literally hugging him, speaking life into him. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I see that, it just restores faith in the world for me. Just, oh, oh, I got snacks in my car. Let me give them to you. Hold on. Yo, yo, want some snacks? It's one for each of y'all. Okay, thank you, baby. You're welcome. Stay God safe, okay? God bless you, too. All right. 
That's why I'm saying, yes, I'm so glad I bought them yesterday. But no, for real, like, I just want people to, like, just look out for each other more. Like, tomorrow is not promised. People are dying left and right. Like, just be a better human. That's all I'm really trying to say. Be a better human. I wish people would be better humans to each other. I wish they would be better humans to themselves. I hope y'all are taking this time to take care of you. To, And you know, that's another thing. A lot of people are having to deal with things that they have been running from. And I do feel compassion for those people. However, I just want y'all to know that one, you're not alone. Everybody is going through the exact same thing. We're all losing our minds. We're all bored. Utilize FaceTime. Please talk to people. If you feel you don't got nobody to talk to, shoot, leave something in the comments. I'll talk to you. I don't care. I just want people to like stay connected remember that you're not by yourself if you feel you by yourself i said this in one of my other videos go join a facebook group for something you like i don't care if it's food i don't care if it's crafts those are the things that keep me going i'm in a hair group i'm in a seafood group i'm in a, a black girls craft group i'm in a black girl makeup group i mean i'm in like 20 different groups and it's like even though you know, I might be going through my own stuff. Now is the time to journal. Now is the time to create. Now is the time to just release and just try to understand your feelings. Try to understand your emotions. Like, talk through your feelings with people who you can. I just want y'all to know that during this pandemic, it's a lot on everybody. You are not alone be a better human, be a better person, be a better individual, try to look out for somebody. I don't care if you just text three people today and be like, I thought about you today. I want you to know that things will get better. I'm hoping that better comes for you. And when outside opens up, we need to make plans. Like even if it's just something small, like just, <sighs> we gonna get through this, okay? We are going to get through this if you are an essential worker i pray for you every day the same way that i pray for myself if it has skipped over you this whole time i am every day i don't know why but thank you thank you thank you thank you for skipping over me thank you you know i don't i don't question god messengers when he send them and i ain't gonna question no decisions about why he's skipping me because i'm grateful i don't want to go through that you know Every person who, who who immune system is compromised, I pray for you. If you have pre-existing health conditions, I pray for you as well. I hope that this is something that we will all look back on and come out of strong. I hope that you all are developing new talents, new skills, new hobbies. Um, and yeah, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications. And oh. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications. And as always, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will catch y'all huh, huh, on the flip side. Peace out.